<laughs> after you talk to God, after you are confronted with the conflict, then you must know God uses trouble to confirm you. God don't confirm nobody he ain't tried. He don't anoint nobody that hasn't been proven. And if you want to be tried, and if you want to be anointed, if you want to be proven by God, you got to go through something. Because God's going to use your heartbreak to confirm you. He's going to use your heartache to confirm you. He's going to use your not enough to show you he can take not enough and make it more than enough. When somebody confirms you, they validate you. When somebody confirms you, they give you the kind of importance that makes you somebody. Lord have mercy. So when, when God gives you confirmation, he said, I put my seal of approval on your life. Therefore, it does not matter how the odds are stacked up against you because you're serving a God who can beat the odds. This is the next to the last time. Grab your neighbor by the hand and shake that hand like you're going to shake it off and say, neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. Oh, neighbor, God can beat the odds. Studied a little bit for this about an MRI, and the, the, what, what I came up with was that an MRI is a procedure that the doctors use. It's a metal image that will show them every part of your body. It shows them. It shows, shows them every muscle, every bone structure, every blood vessel, every skeleton bone. It shows them everything they need to know about you. It shows them your organs. Mm -hmm. It shows them how your organs are operating. It is a scanned image of your entire body. It's called the MRI. But I came up with the MIR. Miracle in reversal. Lord have mercy. That's the last thing I came for the 50 people that are in here. God is getting ready to give you a miracle in reversal. The Bible says, after they prayed, after Elisha prayed, and the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, he saw chariots of fire. He saw horses on chariots of fire. He saw swords of flame. The Bible says a second time, Elijah prays. And Elijah says in verse 18, Father, blind their eyes. Lord, have mercy. There comes a time in your life where you got to go to God the second time and say, Lord, get rid of my enemies. Make my enemies go another way. The Bible, the Bible says that God sent a strong wind, blinded the Syrian army. He could have killed them. That would have been the easy way out, but he blinded them. He blinded them with a type of glaucoma. You know glaucoma. It's a scale that comes over your eyes. It's a light thin mass that comes over your eyes. It distorts your vision so you can't see clearly. It's a real easy procedure where the eye doctor just takes the thin layer of skin off your eyes so that you can see. The Bible says God sent a wind, blinded the eyes of the Syrian soldiers. They were distorted with their vision. So what they did was they used what they call their own intuition. But God is so ingenious that with them stumbling, with them scrambling, part of the Bible says that they stumbled and they scrambled. And and they got right back uh, to the town in Syria. Uh, in other words, uh, God took them back uh, 
where they came from. This is the last time. Grab your neighbor by the hand and shake that hand real good and say, neighbor, God is getting ready to beat the odds. Say, God is going to give you a miracle in reversal. He going to let the devil stumble right back where he came from. That devil of poverty, that devil of sickness, that devil of low self-esteem. He going to let the devil stumble right back where he came from. He going to stumble back and you going to have a good marriage. He going to stumble back and you going to have a good family. He going to stumble back and you going to have the victory. Well, I hear the Holy Ghost slap three people of five and tell them I got a miracle in reversal because God can beat the odds. Oh, yes, he can. He can beat the odds. He can make your last days your best days. He can beat the odds. He can bring you out. He can bring you over. He can bring you through. You got a miracle in reversal because God can beat the odds. He can beat the odds. He can make what's wrong. He can turn it to right. He can give the devil the best fight he's ever had. He's strong enough to beat the odds. He's mighty enough to beat the odds. He's wise enough to beat the odds. He got all power in his hands. He can beat the odds. He can prove to you that he is the almighty God, the one true and living God. He's omnipotent. He's omniscient. He's omnipresent. 